Sydney, Australia's largest and oldest city, the country's main hub and arguably the first city visitors think of when traveling to Australia. It is known for its beautiful waterfront with iconic attractions such as the Opera House and the numerous sunlit skyscrapers. Despite all this, Sydney is not and never has been the capital of the country. The role of capital falls to a much smaller and unspectacular city that many tourists don't even have on their radar, Canberra. This city only has 400,000 inhabitants, which is tiny compared to Sydney with its over 5 million inhabitants, making it only the 8th largest city in the country. Therefore, the question arises why Canberra and not Sydney or another city became the capital of Australia. After James Cook reached Australia in 1770 and made maps of the coast for the first time, more and more British sailors sailed to the base of Australia. In one of these bays Sydney was founded in 1788 as a panel colony for prisoners from Great Britain. But also more and more settlers from the mother country came to the new city. Over the next few decades more and more infrastructure was built there and the city experienced a real boom as a result of the gold rush in the 1830s and 40s. Thus, from the 1850s at the latest, the city was a cultural and economic center of Australia. The only rival city was Melbourne. This city was founded by the British businessman John Batman, who bought 240,000 hectares of land from the aboriginal tribes living there to create his own city. Unlike Sydney, however, the city was not an original panel colony, but was planned as a catch-all for all European emigrants, with wide streets and large residential areas. John Batman, by the way, actually wanted to call the city Batmania, but in the end it was christened Melbourne in honor of the British Prime Minister at the time. Nevertheless, nowadays there are Batman parks, Batman streets and even a Batman train station. Melbourne, driven by the gold rush, developed at a similar pace to Sydney, beginning an increasingly fierce competition between the two cities for supremacy at Australia's most important city. In 1901, the once independent colonies formed the Commonwealth of Australia. Then, in 1901, when all the once independent colonies of Australia united to form the Commonwealth of Australia, preparing for independence from Great Britain, the question of the official capital became more and more pressing. After intense debates, however, neither city could prevail, and so a compromise was reached. A completely new capital was to be built, located between Sydney and Melbourne, and until this was completed, Melbourne was to act as the temporary seat of government. Thus, Australia officially became independent in 1907, and the worldwide competition was held to develop a design for the new Australian capital. An American architect won the competition, and construction work on Canberra began. Interrupted also by World War I, Canberra was not officially inaugurated until 1927, when the seat of government was moved from Melbourne to the new capital. The whole city was very geometrically and symmetrically arranged due to the precise planning, which is why it was perceived by many as very artificial. However, the further development of the city stopped due to the severe world economic crisis and the following World War II. So Canberra was mocked by many as a village, which is why the government launched some programs to make the city more attractive and to attract more Australians to the city to breathe more cultural life into it. The whole thing was successful and the city is now becoming more and more important. Although it is still behind Sydney and Melbourne in terms of popularity and importance, it is growing more and more into a cultural center and tourism is also increasing steadily. In 2014, Canberra was even named the most livable city in the world by the OSCE. Have you ever been to Australia and if so, were you only in Sydney or Melbourne or did you also visit the Australian capital? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks for watching.